Hello everyone, I'm you too, and welcome back to Genshin. Yes, more Genshin. Um, we're we'll we'll pretty on tears, the kingdom on pause for a bit while I recover. Um, I'm still kind of ill. Um, not fully. I am a lot better than I was yesterday, but still a little bit meh. So I don't want to do any intense voice acting while I'm uh, still under the weather. So we're going to play something easy where the game mostly just talks for me for hours on end. So, <laughs> alright, as usual um, in this game, I grind and then I accidentally stumble upon the cutscene that starts the next event quest, and I'm therefore locked into it because I can't, <laughs> like every time I restart the game, it just pops right back into it, so, <laughs> so here we go, yay, this is apparently an invocation TCG event, so. <clears throat> What's your name, buddy? Are you here to buy some medicine? Where are your mom and dad? Are you lost? No, I'm not. Um, my name's Ayu, and I'm here because... Hey there, Chi-Chi. Hi, Gwei. What's going on? Hi, Traveler and Paimon. Ah, uh, you've actually come at the perfect time. This little boy seems to have gotten himself lost. I think he must be new to the city. Probably wandered away from his parents and... No, listen to me! I'm not the one who's lost! It's my dad! Your dad? How does a fully grown man manage to get lost in Leela Harbor? Well, my dad's always been kind of forgetful. In the past, he was just a little slow to react sometimes. But I'm worried that it's getting more serious. So... what about your mom? She went out a few days ago to gather some herbs for my dad, but she still hasn't come back. Meanwhile, my dad's been getting worse and worse. I remembered that the owner of Boo Boo Pharmacy always runs a clinic in Chingsa Village during the Lantern Rite. So I thought, why don't I take dad to Leeway Harbor to see him there? Wait, this might not be the Invocation TCG event. This might be something else entirely. <laughs> oh well, we'll find out, I guess. <clears throat> he must be Baiju. When we got to the city gate, I took a moment to ask the Millilith guards for directions to the pharmacy. And then, when I turned back around, my dad was gone! I asked the Millilith guys to go find him, but he said they won't be able to send that many people. So then I figured, maybe I can ask some other people in the city to help. You came to the right place! We're pros at finding people! Isn't that right, Traveler? It'll be a piece of cake for us. Changshan can help. She has a good sense of smell, like a dog. Hey, who's talking about me behind my back? Cheng Sheng, Chi Chi meant that as a compliment. There's no need to be upset. Hello, child. You mentioned that you were looking for the owner of Boo Boo Pharmacy. How might we be of service? You have a talking snake? Oh, are you Uncle Baiju? <laughs> Uncle Baiju. Cheng Sheng, now's not the time. <laughs> My dear boy, could you tell me more about your father's condition, as much as you can recall? Yes, Uncle... Uh, Dr. Baiju. Ayu explains his father's health situation to Baiju. I see. And your family lives near Qingsa Village, you say? I visit patients there frequently, but I don't recall ever seeing you or your parents. Hello, Ace. Uh-huh. My mom doesn't like meeting other people, especially during Lantern Ride. She always tells me to just stay at home and keep my dad company. Hmm, is that so? Ayu, by any chance, is your mother's name Jiangli? Whoa, yeah, it is. Do you know my mom, Dr. Baiju? I certainly do. Gui, Chi Chi, are there any pressing matters in the pharmacy at the moment? I use parents are old acquaintances of mine, so I would very much like to assist with the search. Would the two of you have time to join me? Don't forget us two! We already told all you that we'd help! Oh, really? Well, that's wonderful. We are most grateful for your support. You can count on us. Chi-Chi and I need to clear up the shop front first, but once that's taken care of, we'll be right out to help you with the search. Family is... very... That's right, Chi Chi. Thank you. <coughs> then I'll leave you to handle the pharmacy. Traveler, Paimon, why don't you come with me and Ayu? 
Let's start by talking to the Millilith guards at the city gates, see if they have an update. Okay, so I did stumble upon Baiju's uh, character story quest, which is fine. Um, by the way, here is the new character that was just released pretty, uh, pretty recently. She's a four star. She's like a cat delivery service person. She, her special is that she can go into a little box like this. And <laughs> Apparently, she can like, run up walls and stuff, and oh, even on water. <laughs> but, uh. Pretty interesting stuff. Actually, I'm kind of curious. Let's see how the wall thing works for her. Apparently, she. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> That's kind of cool, actually. Alright. Anyway. Uh, so we're gonna go do the, uh, the event first. I know we didn't just initiate a Baishu's thing, but I was kind of stuck on that. So we're gonna do this instead. Duel in the Summoner's Summit. Yes. It actually features her and several other, uh, card players, I guess. Who is that in the middle? Middle right. I don't know who that is. She must be new as well, but I don't remember seeing her in the wish thing. Maybe she's not one of them, yeah. Maybe she's like on the second uh, set of banners or something. Any but. <clears throat> Sorry. Let's go do that quest. Where is it? It's in Mondstadt, apparently. Ace, how are you? Welcome to the stream. Any, uh, make any more of these. Right. Add Astra. Yeah, same. <clears throat> oh man, Monday was so rough for me. I had to go to work, and I was like at the peak of my sickness. And it was just, it was just an awful experience altogether. But thankfully, uh. I was able to get Tuesday off where I just kind of chilled and got better, but went to work again today, but it wasn't as bad. Thankfully, all the symptoms kind of calmed down. Just mostly a uh, stuffy nose and uh, that, but like, you know, it's, it's a cold. It's basically a cold, so. <sighs> what a disaster. I didn't even make it through the qualifiers. How'd you do? Uh, I didn't do any better. I was beaten by that little Timmy kid. Well, then. I've only ever seen him out there feeding pigeons. And I had no clue how he got to be such a good card player. The next round's starting soon, right? Let's head over and watch the matches. I'm curious to see who'll win the grand prize. Did you hear that? A grand prize! Oh, the jury duty, that's right. Sounds like they were talking about a card competition. They must be talking about Genius Invocation TCG. A Genius Invocation Tournament, huh? Think there'd be ta any tasty food at the venue? Should be. But let's go ask Iona for details. It's like a convention. How did the jury duty go? I know, you, I know you can't talk about it, but I'm just wondering, like, was it just boring? Like, just, you just wanted to get out of there. What? <gasps> Am I seeing double? Do you have two tails? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Your eyes are working just fine. Yes, I have two tails. You want to pet them? Yes. Wow. Um, does it hurt when your tail splits into two? Which one did you grow first? Oh, and what do you do when they start moving around while you're asleep? Oh, well, uh... Oh, uh, ha. sorry if those were tricky questions. I've just never seen anyone with two tails before. I've never seen Diana so excited about something before. Who's Diana chatting with? Hmm, from her outfit, Paima would guess she's probably from Inazuma. <laughs> oh, don't worry, kid. I'm sure you'll be growing a couple of tails of your own in no time. Are they kids in huh? You think I can grow two tails as well? Sure. You're a yokai too, right? 
Your yokai power must be really strong if you can already take on human form. Uh, no. I was just climbing a tree one day when another tail popped out, just like that. People started calling me, uh, um, uh, Nekomata, I think? Yokai? Nekomata? Uh, no, 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 no. You got it all wrong. My ears and tail are part of my cat's line bloodline. Oh, so you're not a Mondstadt yokai? Mondstadt doesn't have anything like yokai. Is this your first time here? Yep. Fortunately for me, the company I work for has been expanding. So I'm now getting the opportunity to travel to cities all over to that. Oh, it's been such a pleasure chatting with you that I almost lost track of time. I'd better get going or I'll be late for my next customer. Diona of the Ketzline clan, your pickup is complete. Thank you for choosing Komania Express. Great, feel free to come hang out anytime. Hmm, do only yokai have tails in Inazuma? There's his little paws, too. Little feats. Hey, Diana! Okay. Hmm? Oh, Traveler and Paimon! Hey, what brings you back to Mondstadt? Well, we figured it's been a while since we visited the cat's tail, so we thought we'd come and say hi! Oh, and by the way, who was that just now? Oh, she's a courier from Komania Express. They're an international delivery service operating out of Inazuma. Huh? Is the cat's tail doing international business now? No, 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 no. A customer left some goods with us and arranged for Komania Express to pick them up. <laughs> That's all. I didn't mind. You've been to Inazuma, right? Did you, um, see lots of yokai like her there? We saw some with wings on their back and others with box ears. Right! But this is actually the first time we've ever seen one with two tails. Whoa! I'd love to go see for myself one day. Huh. Anyway, what were you two here for again? Did you need me for something? Oh, yeah! Paimon almost forgot. Do you know anything about a Genius Invocation TCG tournament? Apparently there's prizes and stuff. A tournament? Oh, you must mean the one being organized by the Adventurers Guild. It's a pretty big event. They even had posters imported from Inazuma. But I'm busy with things here, so uh, I didn't sign up. I don't know all the details. Uh, maybe try asking my boss. Got it. Well, with any luck, we'll win some more, and then we'll treat you to some yummy food. Huh, what do you mean, luck? I'm the one who taught you how to play, after all. Thanks, Coach. We'll make you proud. That's now like it. Okay, you two should probably get going now. Head to the Fountain Plaza. My boss usually takes a walk around there at this time of day. All right, we'll go there right away. Oh, yeah, I forgot there's drops with this. I should probably put in the title that there's drops. I always forget about that. Well, like, it... Like, discontinued it at some point, so... Oh, wait, let's get to the next, uh... Thing hey, Margaret! We thought we might find you here! Oh, if it isn't the Traveler and Paimon. It's been a while, hasn't it? Let me guess. Back to play some cards? Uh, it's not like we only ever come back to Mondstadt to play cards. Oh, really? I just assumed you were here to take part in the King of Invocations Grand Prix. King of Invocations Grand Prix? Oh, that must be the Adventurers Guild one that Diana mentioned. Mm-hmm, that's the one. Genius Invocation TCG has been attracting more and more players lately. The Adventurers Guild arranged for venues in every city to hold a regional tournament for the King of Invocations Grand Prix. The rewards are quite substantial. Mondstadt is already at the final stage, so I'm afraid you might be a little too late to get that prize. Really? Oh, darn! We already promised Diana we'd treat her to some food with the more we won! It's all right. There's bound to be a next time. This card game came out of nowhere and has already taken the world by storm. Who knows where it'll go next? The game's creators must be ecstatic with all this success, don't you think? It's unbelievably popular. Yeah, and it only gets more fun the more people there are to play it with. I really want to play now. 
I want to win that tournament. Well, you may have missed the boat on the official event, but there's also an unofficial tourney organized by some players. Would that interest you at all? Yes. Unofficial tourney? That's right. With all the excitement surrounding the main tournament, players can hardly contain their enthusiasm. So they've set up an unofficial tourney aimed at a larger player base. You can sign up at any time and play however many matches you want. They even have pre-built decks for players to use. Oh, and the rewards are pretty generous too. Ooh, Paima likes the sound of this. Thanks for the info, Margaret. We'll go check it out. You're welcome. There are plenty of booths at the venue offering food and other fun activities, so it's definitely worth a visit. Who knows? You might even bump into some old friends there. <laughs> right. If there's nothing else you needed, I'll be continuing my walk now. Well, good thing I had not... Oh. Hyman still thinks that with your abilities, winning the grand prize in the official tournament would have been as easy as pie! I spy someone in the background. Just imagine it! Writes itself. Hmm? Do my ears deceive me? Or do you two have some breaking news to share with me? Whoa! Uh, who, who are you? And why the heck are you eavesdropping on us? Oh, sorry. Force of habit. I tend to keep my ears peeled at all times. Didn't even realize I was listening in. She must be from Let Fontaine. me introduce myself. I'm Charlotte, a reporter for the Steambird from Fontaine. I've been posted here to cover the King of Invocations Grand Prix. The Steambird? Sounds familiar. The Steambird is a major news outlet headquartered in Fontaine and widely acclaimed all over Tevat. We even have regular columnists based right here in Mondstadt. Ooh, okay. Paimon's name is Paimon and this is the Traveler. What was that you were saying about some breaking news? Oh, looks like I've managed to pique your interest. Well, the truth is that my keen reporting senses are telling me that this competition will be chock full of huge news stories. Huge news stories? You sure your senses are reliable? Absolutely! After all, I've seen it with my own eyes. There's a criminal who's been slinking around the competition venue, and his name is... The Card Snatcher. Card Snatcher? Mm-hmm. He stole his opponent's cards when they weren't looking. I was about to try and chase him down, but the next moment, he disappeared into thin air. But why would someone want to steal other people's cards? Maybe to gain an edge over his opponents? <laughs> Whatever the truth of the matter, it's my job as a journalist to dig up all the gory details and turn them into my very own exclusive news piece. Gory? So, what do you think? Want to join me in my quest to uncover the sensational story that's hiding behind the scenes? Let's do it. Hmm. That does sound interesting, but why us? Any reason you singled us out in particular? Are you kidding me? It's a no-brainer, considering you're the honorary knight who saved Mondstadt. The hero of Liyue who fought alongside the Adepti. <laughs> a key player in the repealing of Inazuma's Sokoku decree. And the redeemer of the Sumeru Academia. This keeps getting okay, longer. Okay, point taken. Yeah, it seems like we've ended up making quite a big name for ourselves, huh? She ain't really did her homework. Let's hear some more of her accomplish of our accomplishments. Some more of our accomplishments. Hey, we've got better things to do than listening to that. I promise you, teaming up with me will be a great move for you. For starters, when my exclusive news article is published, you'll be credited as contributors. Not to mention that being in a news agency makes me pretty well connected. That'll come in real handy if you're ever traveling in Fontaine. And if you ever wanted to run an ad in the paper one day, no problem. I could make that happen. That actually sounds genuinely useful. What do you think, Traveler? Why not? We've got some time on our hands. And this card snatcher sounds pretty interesting. Great! Then welcome to the news crew. Ah, I've heard that the Traveler always lends a helping hand. So it's nice to know that you live up to your reputation. But even nicer to experience it for myself. Now then, before we start investigating our card snatcher, I have one other small task to take care of first. That Mondstadt columnist who I mentioned earlier is a longtime favorite of the Steambird's readership. Management thought that a cash bonus was in order, so I brought it along with me. Oh, so we're gonna go meet them now? Yep, I have the address right here. We just need to make a slight detour to drop off the Mora, then we'll be on our way. <laughs> I thought you would have figured out who it is I'm talking about by now. From what I've heard, you're quite well acquainted. Oh, it's someone we know? Mm, that doesn't narrow it down much. We know lots of people. 
Bon Monstat. <sighs> Never mind. Just lead the way, Charlotte. Hmm. Who could it be? Yes, I'll post a commission at the One of your rich friends, I'd assume. After all, you gotta be pretty well off to live in the city, right? Uh, that still doesn't really narrow it down. We know lots of people with lots of mora. Wow, I guess being a national hero earns you friends in high places. Here we are. Wait here a moment. I'll go hand over the cash. Mona. Who is it? Can I help you? Oh, Traveler and Paimon, what brings you here? And I'm sorry, I don't believe we've... You must be Mona Magistus, the astrologist. It's an honor to finally meet you. I'm Charlotte, a reporter from the Steambird. Your columns have been so well received by our readers lately that our management asked me to present you with this cash bonus. She full name and title right on her first try. She really does do her homework. Ah, you must be Charlotte. Welcome, welcome. Please, just call me Mona. Gosh, this is a long way to come from Fontaine. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. No trouble at all. It was on the way. Wow, sounds like your articles are a real hit with readers all over to that, Mona. Have I never told you? Well, I've been writing my column All Things Astrological for the Steambird for a long time now. The chief editor wrote to me a while ago about the bonus. Thank goodness it's finally here. I was wondering when it would arrive. Thank you, Charlotte. Huh, you make it sound like you really needed this. Are you pressed for money, Mona? What? No, of course not. It's just that once I knew the bonus was coming, I reallocated some funds that I'd previously set aside for daily necessities and purchased some expensive equipment. That's all. <laughs> Classic Mona. Aha! Perfect! Renowned astrologist broken starving. Do the stars really have all the answers? <laughs> the article practically writes itself. Actually, that does sound like an interesting read. Oh, I beg your pardon? <laughs> uh super rich. It's just that astrology research is really expensive. Super rich is a bit of a stretch. Huh. Anyway, enough about that. What brings you back to Mondstadt this time, Traveler and Paimon? Originally, we just came to catch up with a friend of ours. But some things have come up, and now we're helping Charlotte investigate the case of the card snatcher. Speaking of which, will you be competing in the King of Invocations Grand Prix? Where it is that the prizes are pretty... stellar. I'm much too busy with my research these days to dedicate time to a competition. Besides, even if I did enter, there's no guarantee I'd actually win a prize, is there? Isn't there? I'd have thought you'd be certain to win with astrology on your side. You'd know all of your opponent's cards ahead of time. What do you take me for? No self-respecting astrologist would dream of abusing their beloved art for such crude purposes. Besides, it wouldn't be fair to the other contestants. Well said. Spoken like an accomplished academic and a conscientious citizen. Well, yes, obviously. Anyway, if past precedent is anything to go by, you're the ones who ought to be wary of what's around the corner. Especially if you're chasing after this card snatcher, was it? Sounds like bad news. Shall I take a glance at what you're up against? Thanks for the offer, but there's no need. Relying on your astrological skills for all the juicy details would make this story a Mona exclusive. But that's not quite the kind of exclusive report I'm going for here. But don't you worry. They call it investigative journalism for a reason. We journos have our ways. All right, well, best of luck with your investigation then. Thanks again for bringing the bonus, Charlotte. Do give my regards to the chief editor. Take care of yourself, Mona. Also, we should play another game of Genius Invocation TCG sometime. I will, and yes, we should. I'll hold you to that.
I think it's about time we started heading to the competition venue. The Mondstadt Regional Final should be starting shortly. All right! Paimon can't wait to find out who the finalists are! Well, if it isn't the Traveler and Paimon, what a rare surprise. Did you really come all this way just to watch Timmy and me in the final? Kaya? You made it to the final? Wait, what about your work with the Knights of Bavonius? You better not be slacking off again. Hey, come on now. That's no way to talk to a friend. Naturally, I wouldn't have considered entering the competition were I not already on top of my work. Ah. Enjoying a drink while playing a few rounds of cards. I can't think of a better way to relax outside of work, can you? Oh, just be sure not to tell Diona I said that. Well, since you're in the competition, have you noticed anything suspicious going on so far? You know, like people stealing other players' cards and that kind of thing. Stealing cards, you say? I'm afraid I haven't seen anything of that sort. Not while I've been playing, anyway. Why do you ask? Well, we just ran into this journalist from Fontaine, and she... Huh? Where'd Charlotte go? She was right here, wasn't she? Oh, I would bet she snuck out to go find some tasty snacks for herself! Journalist from Fontaine? <laughs> oh, you mean the one from the Steambird? I do recall seeing a Steambird reporter listed in the Knights of Favonius visitor log. at the tournament venue, so we're helping her investigate. A card snatcher? Hmm. How very interesting. But one question, Paimon. Are you sure that cards are really what this snatcher is after? Huh? What makes you say that? Hello, everyone. Your attention, please. The final is about to begin. Now, let's give a warm welcome to our two contestants. Guess we'll have to leave it there. Let's continue this conversation another time. Good luck, Kaya. Give it your best. Thanks, Traveler. Go get him, Kaya. We'll see you in a bit. So, Traveler, who do you think is going to win? Mm. Pretty sure Timmy will win. Yeah, Timmy seems to be a pretty strong TCG player. Either way, whoever wins is bound to make headlines. Wait, speaking of headlines... So that's Charlotte's job? Huh. Maybe she got caught up trying out all the delicious Mondstadt snacks. Well, let's go look for her. You got it. Also, there's something interactive with this. Oh, it's a book. Interesting. Oh, okay. Timmy is breezing right through the tournament as if he's blessed with Animum Archon. Now he's one of the favorites to win Mondstadt's oops, grand prize, I guess. Little Timmy is really something else. You'll all be seeing him. You'll also see him playing as a golden haired lass, the way he won. How absurd. Did you not see the plume glowing the holy light on the young boy's back? The scorching light must have shackled and blinded the princess and octave for so long and twisted the scales of fate. I shall bring my faith more chance from the Emmanotrike, and vengeance shall be mine. <laughs> really, don't be too late. If you see this message don't you come don't something to come back for me something like that all right charlotte charlotte what happened you just disappeared without saying anything oh i just didn't want to bother you while you were catching up with your friend but kaya's one of the finalists don't you want to interview him or something you did say you were supposed to be covering the competition 
I could churn out that kind of soft news piece in five minutes if I had to. Personally, I'm more interested in those two. From the moment things kicked off, they've been acting very strangely, like they're trying to stay out of sight. I'm sure they must be plotting something. Hmm? Oh, you mean there are two card snatchers? Shh! Keep your voice down! We don't want to scare them off. We need to wait until we've got something concrete. Then we can use my camera to catch them in the act. Huh? Wait! Where'd the other guy go? He's on the run! After him! <laughs> <laughs> huh? You seem like you've done this before. Do you spy on people often? <laughs> oh, you're too kind. You should see the celebrities in Fontaine, the lengths they'll go to to try and avoid the public eye. Compared to that, this is nothing. That wasn't supposed to be a compliment. He's heading toward Mondstadt's side gate. Let's follow him, but quietly. We mustn't let him spot us. Looks like he stopped. Let's sit tight and see what happens. Why did he come all the way out here? Is he gonna hide something? And now he's crouching down with his hands above his head. <gasps> Wait! Treasure orders! He's in trouble! Yeah, shit. Quick! We need to rescue him! Oh, I gotta switch party members. <laughs> Help! Did someone save me! Oh, we'll do it faster. Come at me! This is not gonna end well. Scanning! Taking the turn for the better. Lighting cover fire! No! Coming through! No, this is not gonna happen. Like I should have supported it. Ah, oh dear. Hold on a second. I'm gonna buff myself for a sec. Even then, I don't think it's gonna make that much of a difference. How is it? Where is it? I'm also gonna equip it with a better weapon. This is so dumb. <laughs> it's so dumb. I can't use it. Engaging! Oh, that's not good. Hey, oh, my God. All right. <laughs> God damn So many it. things I never accomplished. Like, as I was walking over here, I was like, this is probably a fight. I didn't fucking think about changing it. Seems like an emergency. Side effects. Freeze. I got 
For the better, a bitter Three. pill to swallow. Providing cover fire. Yeah. Yeah, this guy right here. This is really... Yeah. Have a little take. The doctor was seen. Yeah. Now's your chance. Yeah. 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 Cross. Yeah. Yeah, I'll beat them. <laughs> Remember, health comes first. Mind the side. Of health. Final Three. warning. God damn. Now, why is Kabi just done? What the hell's up? Let's keep going, team. <laughs> oh, oh, thank goodness. Oh, I thought it was all over for me. Those treasure hoarders, did you know them? It sure looked like they were here just for you. Why would I know them? Uh, I was just uh, out for a walk, minding my own business, and then the next thing I knew, I was surrounded. Oh, really? Then why did they target you? It wouldn't be because of some dubious deal you were involved in at the tournament, would it? Huh? A deal? I, uh, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh -uh. Well, that's a shame. You see, I'm a journalist, and I just happened to snap a picture of you and one other individual in the middle of a deal back at the tournament. I was only going to ask you for an interview, but that was before you caused all this trouble. And now you're feigning ignorance of the deal in question. Hmm, maybe I'm just wasting my time. Shall I just cut my losses and hand over the evidence to the Knights of Favonius? Whoa, 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 whoa! No, no, please! I, 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 I'll talk! But you gotta believe me, there's nothing shady going on, I swear! Wow, that was some serious bluffing on Charlotte's part. She didn't take any pictures at all! Back at the tournament, I, I was approached by some random guy who said that he wanted to buy a card back off me. I said, okay, how much are you offering? And when he told me the amount, well, my jaw practically hit the floor. Really? What kind of card back was it? Uh, nothing special. I, I just picked it up at the general goods store. Uh, it, it had a treasure chest design on it. I only bought it because it was dirt cheap. This guy offered me three times what I paid for it and handed me the Mora right then and there. I could hardly believe my luck. So I, uh, I decided to head somewhere less crowded and check the Mora was real. That's when I ran into the treasure hoarders. Did you ask him why he wanted to purchase this item from you? No, I didn't. Genius Invocation TCG has been getting pretty popular lately, and some people will pay good mora to make their decks look flashy. It didn't strike me as that unusual. But after I gave him the card back, he let out a sigh of relief and said something about, uh, that's all the monst at ones. Next stop, Liyue. Or something like that. Or something like that? He either said that or he didn't. How certain are you? I'm positive. I I know what I heard. Once the card was in his hands, he suddenly relaxed like a huge burden had been taken off his shoulders. It was genuine relief. Could, could that card back really be as valuable as he thought? That I don't know. But in the interests of your personal safety, I suggest you report all of this to the Knights of Favonius. After all, you weren't doing anything against the law, were you? Uh, right, yeah, no, that makes sense. I'll go speak to the Knights of Favonius right away. It sounds like that guy's just collecting rare card backs. Are you sure this is the person you're after, Charlotte? Well, it definitely doesn't add up. 
You really think someone out there is going from nation to nation, shelling out huge sums of money for a few card bags bought from a grocery store? My gut tells me that there's more to this story than the card back alone. <laughs> this entire situation reeks of exclusive news. You think there's a real treasure involved? Maybe it was designed by a famous artist. Ooh, you mean someone like Albedo? Hmm. That would explain why only some people understand the true value. Who knows? But wherever this leads, we're definitely onto something. Even though I didn't manage to get a good look at his face, his physique and the way he moved were identical to the card snatcher I saw last time. I'm sure it's the same guy. He was much more discreet this time, though. I guess he didn't want to risk trying anything with so many potential witnesses around. From the sounds of it, we need to head to Liyue next, right? Paimon can't wait! We have tons of friends in Liyue, too. But shouldn't we check in with Kaya before we leave? Paimon at least wants to find out who won the final. Good idea. Let's go. Okay, yeah, should probably equip a party member that doesn't suck. <laughs> At least just one. Uh, we'll go with. Yeah, we'll just put. Oh, we'll just put our talk in here. I am the man. I hereby declare the winner of the Mondstadt Regional Final of the King of Invocations Grand Prix is... Timmy! Now he has finally something to live for. Wow, Timmy won! That's amazing! <sighs> I was beaten by the best. Timmy's a tough opponent. He had me on the back foot the entire time. At least you are gracious in defeat. <laughs> It's all right. You don't need to comfort me. This must be the journalist from Fontaine you mentioned earlier. Charlotte, was it? Enchanté. I'm Kaya, cavalry captain of the Knights of Favonius. I trust you're enjoying your time in Mondstadt? The pleasure is all mine. Mondstadt's reputation as the city of song and freedom is truly deserved. The mood here is simply delightful. <laughs> I'm glad you're liking it. Oh, by the way, I couldn't help but notice you all rushing towards the city's side gate earlier. Did you find something? I couldn't get it off my mind, even during the competition. You tell Kaya everything that happened. <laughs> hmm, I see. So, it seems we have an answer to Kaya's question from earlier. What the card snatcher's really after is these card backs. But we still haven't figured out why he cares so much about them. Hmm. Well, while I'd love to accompany you all to Liyue Harbor, I'm afraid I still have my Knights of Favonius duties to attend to. In fact, our top priority right now is strengthening Mondstadt's defenses. Treasure hoarder activity has been increasingly rampant lately. Don't worry, we'll keep you in the loop if we find anything. In fact, if Charlotte's journalistic instinct is on point, you'll probably be reading her exclusive report in the Steambird before long. Wonderful. Then I look forward to reading all about it. <laughs> Thanks for supporting quality journalism. Okay, let's take tonight off and head to Liyue Harbor tomorrow. It'll give me a chance to write down everything that's happened today. Oh, Paimon wanted to ask. See the two people on this poster? Are they the inventors of Genius Invocation TCG? They look so young. Maybe, but very little is known about either of them. Whether they've been living under a rock this whole time or just aren't interested in fame, I don't know but hardly anybody has ever seen them. The poster's probably just an artist's impression to capture the general look and feel of the duo. Beyond that, I doubt it's very true to life. Sounds like they're a couple of socially reclusive scholars. If Paimon were in their shoes, she'd be showing up to all the events, signing autographs, selling cards, and probably getting complimentary foodie
even drink! <laughs> I approve. And to top it off, you could play a few rounds of Genius Invocation with everyone. I was reading up on the game's inventors before I came to Mondstadt. I was originally hoping to arrange an interview with them, but I soon discovered that there's no mention anywhere of where they live or of any Genius Invocation events that they've attended. It's as if they've designed the game and then never played it again. What a mysterious couple of game designers. Either they don't want to play the game, or they're unable to. But they must have their reasons. I wonder if they'll show up at all during the King of Invocations Grand Prix. Maybe, if you get lucky. And based on my experience, the Traveler seems to have no shortage of that. Oh, really? Well, that gives me one less thing to worry about. Hearing that, hearing that, that put you at ease, puts me at ease. What? <laughs> Hopefully my luck will run out anytime soon. Anyway, our focus is still on tracking down the card snatcher. I heard Snezhnaya has an old saying. If you try chasing two rabbits at once, you'll only end up empty-handed. Well, the Traveler and Paimon can always split up and chase one rabbit each. Oh, okay. Now Paimon's feeling hungry. We can worry about all this later. Right now it's time to get some grub. <laughs> You can always trust Paimon to know where life's priorities lie. If it's food you're after, I recommend taking a look at the nearby stalls. The tournament has brought quite a crowd, so there's a lot of fun to be had around the venue. Sounds great! Thanks, Kaya! Ooh, the Summoner's Summit. Tour of Wonders. Only after months that seems there's something to tell you. These are probably talking talking quests. Alright, uh, <coughs> Alright, I'll try. Oh. Wait, why is everyone leaving? Did I miss it? Ah, Mika. Uh, too bad you weren't here to see it. I'm afraid that... Captain Kaya lost. What? T tell me everything. What happened? Well, I don't know much about Genius Invocation myself, but I did try to follow along by listening in to what everyone was saying. Captain Kaya took out one of Timmy's character cards right at the start, giving him an early advantage. But I guess that was all part of his opponent's strategy? In any case, Timmy spent the first few rounds stocking up cards in his hand and then swung the game with a brutal offensive right at the end. <sighs> But, you know, maybe the match was already over from the moment they flipped the coin and determined that Kaya would go second. Whew, I need a drink. <laughs> Calm down, bro. Now's not the time to start drinking your sorrows away. Knowing Captain Kaya, he wouldn't want to see you upset over his loss. Hey, why don't we learn how to play too? Maybe then, we'll get to play against Captain Kaya someday. <laughs> Though... I'm sure we'd lose pretty badly to him. <sighs> yeah, you're right, Mika. Not a bad plan. Alright, Onaya. Please wait, are you also here for the King of Invocations Grand Prix? If you have a minute, I'd like to tell you a little about this event hosted by the Adventures Guild called the Tour of Wonders. Okay, let's hear it. Thank you, then I'll go ahead and introduce the basics of this event. Simply put, the Adventurous Guild has placed multiple scenic checkpoints in various locations across Mondstadt. All you have to do is find these scenic checkpoints and mark your sightseeing handbook with the commemorative stamps at each location. The challenge will be considered completed once you find every scenic checkpoint and collect all the stamps. Sure sounds like something the Adventurous Guild would host. <laughs> you put a lot of thought into the placement of these scenic checkpoints. However, some of them are located in remote areas, and I can't guarantee they're entirely clear of monsters. But I'm sure they're dealing with the monsters would want would be a walk in the park for someone as experienced as you. Well, that's all for me. Here's a sightseeing handbook. Have fun! You must complete challenges to claim stamps at scenic checkpoints. Complete the challenges to take the stamps. Alright, let's go. Uh, now my fur's all wet! Uh, you want to go you? What the hell's happening?
There we go. Okay. So, I knew it. Uh, I got a stamp! Yay! Order guide you. Yeah, quake. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> Can't see. <laughs> I'll uproot you. Our bond is strong. Out of my way. Let's roll. Oni coming through. <laughs> Rise! And shroud! This is order! Gather! <laughs> Bam! <laughs> it's showtime!
crumble. I will have order. One with the forest. I'll settle this. Oni coming through. Alright, that's done. Zero hour invocation. Okay. Hmm, should I include this card? Hmm, I still have some cards left. Oh, hey, Traveler. My apologies. I was too busy thinking about the card deck, so I didn't notice you. I'm an adventurer commissioned by the Guild to help organize the King of Invocations Grand Prix, and I'm in charge of a dual event with special rules. We need zero hour invocation. That's just any different from any ordinary TCG duels. Oh, no, no. Zero hour, zero hour invocation is an unofficial tournament with its own rules. In a zero hour invocation, you will not be using your own decks. Instead, you'll be choosing three out of eight incomplete pre built decks to form a full deck. Within the three decks, you will find some newly released cards. As for using them to their full potential, that will depend on your card skills. There's the rules that are identical to our ordinary matches. If you're out of ideas on how you should build your deck, we are always here to help. But I can't guarantee how good the decks will be. <laughs> mm. Mm. Anyway, so that's that you choose to build your own decks. You'll be using them to duel with other players, after all. If you're confident about your skills, you can head over to the other cities where the Grand Prix is being held and try out zero hour invocation there. Well, if you don't have to stress over it, in Zero Hour Invocation, all participants will receive prizes, regardless of the outcome of their duels. If you're interested, come and try it out. Okay. You to try it. Oh, you gotta try No problem. Please select the cards you like to use. The opponent will be, let's see, many players enter the contest using nicknames, and some of them are pretty hard to remember. Here does your opponent will be Cheerful Torchbearer. Once you've prepared, you'll begin any time. Cheerful Torchbearer, accept your challenge. So you're the one I'll be playing against. Ugh. It's a real competition <laughs> this time, so you'd better be ready. Let's play Genius Invocation TCG. Start on the first action phase, both players will get two charges of energy for all character cards. Either player will have to roll the elemental dice in the roll phase, instead they roll will be substituted by eight Omni Elemental Dice. Okay. Ooh, Sure, sure. Sure. Oh god, here we go. I'm not too good at this game, but I will give it my best. It says recommend this one. Sure. Let's go.
Oh, see, so it skips the roll phase entirely. Okay. What? Now my thoughts are all jumbled up. Oh shit. No one escapes my sight. really hard.
use yeah, please. Yep. Yeah. Time for take off. Contamination must be washed away. Changing. Jesus. Oof, I thought there wasn't any kind of like <laughs> prerequisite, like any kind of challenge for that. Like, it's quite Whoa, tough. Oh, you're so much better than everyone I've played against. You held up a lot, block. You held up pretty well at the end there. God damn. <laughs> Okay, this is uh okay, so get all three of them get complete, let's just serious right now. Can't catch me. Catches Grand Prix, I should attract a lot of people. Hey there, Traveler. Did you already take part in the Grand Prix as well? Yes. <clears throat> I'm interested in trying this out. Sure, you can build your deck over there. We'll be playing against Hong Yu. Good luck. I expected the Zero Hour vacation to be so popular. Hmm. I'm going to be sensing some business opportunities. <laughs> Please build your deck here and let me know if you need any help. Seems like you'll be playing against me this time. Ah, goddamn. Great. I was just looking for a worthy opponent.
What's that? <clears throat> No more holding back. Let me <clears throat> weave you a verse. Wait, how can we use that? Oh, I see. As well, I will have order. <laughs> Evil conquering. To go. Shit. Not so much for that fucking shield. <clears throat> oh, I'm feeling a little off. What are my how about this? Well played. For Rex Lapis!
Right. Wait! Let me think for a second. That's easier than Amber. <laughs> oh, turns out I couldn't just place all of my trust in the guide. I was playing the serious showdown, right? No, don't tell me I didn't fucking select that option. Isn't bad for just theme isn't bad, but as for the plot, I wonder if it's good enough. Ah, traveler, my apologies. I got distracted for a moment thinking about light novels. Is there anything else I can help you with? Oh, that's right. I'm the one in charge of zero hour invocation. Are you here to play? You're welcome to build your deck here. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. Your opponent, Sekuto, is ready to begin. You may start the match anytime once you are prepared. We're in a real competition, so please don't feel obliged to go easy on me. Let's play. <clears throat> Interesting. Stay close and you will live. <laughs> mm. Brilliant. Not a single electro dice. That's insulting. And still much that fact. Wow. What a bunch of fucking shit. I really cannot do anything with her. I guess I'll just switch to her. Trainee Forest Ranger Kale, reporting. Yeah, because the dice wanted to fuck me in the first room. <clears throat>
is this, man? The campaign begins. I'll finish with this. Your toast. Okay. Come on, he's some electro dice this time. Fuck's sake. <clears throat> Allow myself to fall behind today. I think Woba's gonna kill my. Oh no, just barely. Pardon my discretion. Ah, oh, it is. Fine. Not that much. I'm losing, so... Of course. Not a single dendro. That's ridiculous. 
Wow, just fuck me, why don't you? I am doomed. It's not over yet. Jesus. Alright, well, I'll probably have like one more hidden before I'm doomed, so I'm gonna do Oh I fucked up. Damn. My ordinance divine. <clears throat> wait, 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 I won? Oh no, I'm fire native. God damn. <laughs> Shit. Uh, <no. laughs> damn it. Were you distracted during our match? <laughs> I could tell. Yeah, the dice rolls were shitty. Let's do it again. We're in a real competition. Hey. <clears throat> Just look at this card. <coughs> no way, hold on, damn it. I wanna look at it. I can. What's so special about you? I didn't get to do anything with you, pretty much. Let's try again, I guess.
I'll ensure your safety. Flight! <clears throat> From the ashes to this world of you. improved significantly. The campaign begins. I'll finish with this. By ordinance divine.
Uh, all right. <clears throat> This is attached against one of the things. Torn to oblivion. Uh. Myself to fall behind today. Okay, see you later, Ace. Thank you for joining. Down to Colin. Yeah. Just got it to dice this time. One. <laughs> Damn it, no, I rolled the other I rolled all of them. Damn it. back everybody in a second
I have returned. Let's continue this. One more match to go. Phew. I really was beaten by the best. Have something I haven't tried yet, boss. Uh, sorry, sir. I'm afraid you've already tried every type of liquor we serve. Oh? Well then, just the bill, please. It's just as well, I suppose. I do have other matters to attend to. Kaya, you're really here! Paimon half thought you were playing some sort of prank on us. Hey, Paimon, traveler. Looks like the gods smile upon me after all. And come now, I wouldn't joke about wanting to see my good friends. <laughs> if you say so. Wait a second. You must be here on official business, right? What do you think you're doing spending every afternoon drinking at the tavern? You itching for a lecture from Jean? <laughs> Not at all. The acting Grand Master positively terrifies me. Why would I ever do anything that might displease her? Uh-huh. You? Terrified? I don't buy it. The truth is, I'm in Sumeru to learn about the alcohol industry here. So despite how it might look, I'm actually at Jafar Tavern for strictly business purposes. Sumeru spices are famous the world over, and it's long been rumored that this fine establishment was where a certain very popular spiced cocktail was invented. That's why the Knights sent me, their foremost expert in alcoholic beverages, to come and see if it is as good as the rumors say. And? How did that go? So far, so good. I'm already in talks with some spice merchants in Port Ormos about some potential collaboration. Yeah, that does sound like a great business opportunity. Guess Don Winery and Master D. Luke are gonna make a tidy sum from this one too, huh? Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Whether this lucrative opportunity gets passed along to Don Winery or not, depends on how nice I'm feeling. <laughs> I'm guessing you've been to Samara before. Oh? What makes you say that? You came all to Samara on your own, so you must be quite familiar with the place. Very sharp of you. I wouldn't say I'm familiar, though. I just came here on the sly once, when I was very young. Hmm. And? Do continue. <laughs> Do I have to? When I said we could talk about the old times, digging up my past wasn't exactly what I had in mind. Don't worry about it. You don't have to go into great detail. Well, all right, since you're so <laughs> interested. Like I said, I was very young then. Don Winery had only just taken me in. I overheard my adoptive father talk about sending a team of merchants to Sumeru during a business meeting. I'm sure you'll agree that everyone's curious about their roots on some level. And my roots? They're in Conria, which is said to have been located deep underground somewhere near Sumeru. Conria. And so I stowed myself away amidst the cargo and silently joined the merchant delegation on their trip to Sumeru. But it wasn't long before the merchant delegation received news that I'd gone missing. Their leader promptly found me, and before I knew it, my adoptive father was dragging me back home by the ear. It was a short lived adventure. Sorry I don't have a more thrilling story for you. <laughs> Speaking of Conria, how much do you know about it? Honestly, not much. The only reason I knew that Conria was near Sumeru is because I happened to read that in a book when I was young. My life had less and less to do with Conria as I grew up, and so I started caring less as well. I used to believe that I had inherited some sort of duty from my father. 
But then I began to wonder. Maybe my father left me in the peaceful land of Mondstadt for no other reason than simply to keep me alive. As well as ensuring that I'd be safely cut off from certain things, the thought that I might be able to actually live a happy life there must have been the icing on the cake. This is obviously all speculation. Simply put, I'm afraid that I'm not particularly in the know on this topic. These days, my surname, Albrecht, is probably the only link to Conria that I have left. One death afternoon, please, boss. Tell me, what do you know about the significance of that name, Alberich? Ah, you've decided to join us. I was wondering how long you planned on listening in. I believe I've seen you before in Mondstadt. Dainsliff, if I'm not mistaken. So you remember me. Then we are already acquainted, Kaya Alberich. Descendant of the Abyss Order's founder. Huh? The Abyss Order? <laughs> what? I take it that you weren't aware of this until now, Kaya. Or you wouldn't have been so forthcoming with your surname. Oh my. That's quite a lot of baggage for a surname, isn't it? Though I must say, it does confirm an old suspicion of mine. I suppose that was why my father left me in Mondstadt after all. I'm surprised that you take me at my word without the faintest hint of skepticism. Well, perhaps what you told me just happens to answer some questions I carry in my memories. And in any case, I recognize your eyes. You're a pure-blood Conrian, aren't you? Very clever. Forgive me for being direct, but I sincerely hope this new knowledge doesn't change anything. If you've already let go of your ties to the past, then keep it that way. Kaya, you're not involved with the Abyss Order in any way, are you? Hey, hold on now. This conversation has taken a rather sudden turn for the deadly serious. And I'm afraid that as someone from Mondstadt, I'm not accustomed to this sort of atmosphere. So what if I know my ancestry? Do I strike you as the type who would be bound by that kind of thing? Relax. I'll be just as delighted to hunt down the Abyss Order tomorrow as I have always been. I trust you, Kaya. Either way, <clears throat> looks like we're out of time. I've got a spice merchant to meet in a minute, so I'll leave the three of you to carry on the conversation without me. Uh, well, all right then. You go do your thing, Kaya. See you around. And Dainsliff, no need to listen in from the sidelines next time we meet. Let me buy you a drink. <laughs> you don't really trust him, do you, Dane? You're both from Conria, but you get on like oil and water. The fact is, I still do not know him well. It would be meaningless for me to jump to conclusions. But can a person truly be unaffected by their ancestry? This remains to be seen. So you said that an Albrecht founded the Abyss Order. I thought my sibling was the founder. Well, I suspect that they call your brother their prince, hmm. precisely because there is a succession of sorts. Oh, so if he was the founder, he'd be the king, right? So what do you plan to do here in Samara? I mean to investigate the Loom of Fate. Do you remember that name? Yeah, the Abyss Order's evil plan! We learned about that back in Mondstadt. You've got a new lead? Not new. Not exactly. My memories suffer from erosion. But while I was recovering my health recently, I suddenly remembered something. Your brother. He mentioned the Loom of Fate back when we traveled together. All the, back, all the way back then? So that was already a thing several centuries ago. Apparently so. I was also quite surprised when these memories tallied up. I recall that we were traveling to Sumeru when the matter was brought up. You're going to the place that he mentioned back then. Correct. At that time, they must have been introduced in one way or another to this concept. If I recall correctly, we were somewhere in a Vidya forest then. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Maybe we'll discover some secret that's lain hidden for hundreds of years! No. Now is not the time. Are you concerned about the Abyss Order? No, it's just... I'm still waiting for my drink. Seriously? 
After day he finishes his drink, he prepared to travel to Bidia Forest. Alright guys, well, I'm getting pretty tired, so it's been a long day for me. I will continue this event tomorrow. We'll finish that up and then uh, this weekend we'll continue with uh, Spirited. Not Spirit, I'm going to say Spirited Away. Spiritfarer with Maleko and uh, Tears of the Kingdom, hopefully. Hopefully my body will be in perfect condition by then, but we shall see. I might take a lead another week or so, so. Alright, I love you all and I'll see you guys next time. Okay? Bye bye. See ya. Later.